This ain't no funeral. This ain't the Terror Dome neither. Welcome to hell, motherfuckers. The feds have picked up PGF Nook's case. He had a robbery, a kidnapping. He got caught with a switch. It's looking like PGF Nook is cooked. And to be honest with y'all, this situation right here, we all watch this happen. Step by step. PGF Nook, and I'm going to say 22, the end of 21, 22, beginning of 23, was on top of the world. And he allowed the fame to go to his head. Now, what I believe happened in the case of PGF Nook was this. I think that he never really had nothing. Um, I heard he was, wasn't was popular in school or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? He's a little funny looking, smurf looking fella. You know, I'm just being honest. And boom, the fame came and then his head blew up, which like, that's like most people. If you never had nothing, then you get you start getting fame and start getting money. Your head gonna blow up. Till you learn how to deal with the pressure that comes with that. You know, you gonna be acting different. What juvenile say? Acting like a nigga that ain't never had shit. I've been through that myself. You know? Um, PGF Nook. He from off 59th and Paulina. They stones. PGF. Stands for Psycho Gang Family, although I think before Psycho died, which they named it that in honor of him, I think that they were called the Paulina Gang Family. This was actually one of the most perfect examples of crashing out. Why? Because we seen PGF Nook crash out in stages and nobody did nothing. Nobody did nothing but cheer this shit on. And he was hot, man. He was damn near the hottest in the city. If not the hottest in the city. You know what I'm saying? Look Kids was rapping his songs. He was getting banned from venues like Chief Keef was. You know what I'm saying? When he first started doing his thing. He did a, he, he did a, a, a concert in his backyard, man. I'm talking about deep out there. The shorties was really rocking with PGF Nook. I think PGF Nook got into a 360 deal, and then PGF Nook started getting money. When PGF Nook started getting money, PGF Nook got on drugs real bad. He started talking about, you know what I'm saying, perks. He started doing the perks, 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 perks. I ain't gonna lie, fool. I love perks, fool, but after today, fool, this is my last day, bro. Long live, long live Big Sky, long live Juice. I love you, Scott, folk. I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna stop doing this shit for y'all, bro. But this shit really helped motherfuckers get through the days, folk. But it's hurting us on the inside, folk. And they kill us, folk. And that's more important than going through, through this pain, trying to get a, a, a day away off these little perks. I'm gonna stop doing this shit. Get my mind straight. Because I've been really dealing with shit. And these perks just be, just help me forget about shit and I need to learn how to face my shit and not pop perks to get over that shit. I'm going to face this shit. Know the perks. Soon after that, we seen PGF Nook scamming. So normally how this works is when somebody goes from success with their music and they get money from that. Once you start seeing them scamming on the internet, that's the decline right there. Normally, that's the decline. You went from doing music to now you ain't really dropping nothing. Now you scamming. Y'all be seeing it on the internet. Um, what bank you with? You know what I'm saying? Who got something on Chime? Who got a who? Who? Who bank with a, a, a redstone? You know, shit like that. Once you get to seeing that, it's like, ah. Okay, then we later seen, like I said, the decline with, you know, 
the more and more drugs, more and more drugs. Then we start seeing PGF Nook go on random robberies, walking down the street, pointing guns at random people. I posted a video of Nook just randomly walking down the street, pointing guns at people. You know? Now the feds have picked this case up. And I think that PGF Nook was, had ended up getting strung out. And I think that in the process of him getting strung out, he started going through, he started having suicidal thoughts. He started going through depression. And he said that he felt like everybody was giving up on him. So the money ran out and then he just started pulling pookies. He just started pulling pookies. If you quote unquote kidnap somebody, right? Common sense will tell you not to have them, after you kidnap them and rob them, transfer money into your account. That was absolutely crazy. Now, the police say that he carjacked somebody at gunpoint and then kidnapped somebody 30 minutes later. So Nook went on a baby rampage. At times, I can be good at putting two and two together. It's really not hard. PGF Nook got to the point to where it became about feeding his habit. And everybody abandoned him. Because the game is like the Titanic. Motherfuckers see the, see the boat sinking, they gonna hop off. And the captain is forced to die with the ship, which is PGF Nook. Now, he got two things working in his favor. One, he's young, you know? So, I refuse to believe that this situation right here is to the point to where, you know, there's just no, no return. I think that he can come back from this. As far as him getting out and, you know, obtaining his freedom, being a some type of citizen. I don't think this is going to require him to, to, you know, get a life sentence or have a life sentence or nothing like that. I don't think so. It's possible that he can get a lot of time, but I really, I really kind of doubt that, you know. He may have to do 8 to 10 at the most because we're dealing with the feds. But, like I said, I kind of doubt that. But even if he does, he'll still be fairly young when he gets home. That's one thing that he has going for him. For two, he's been locked up since, I think, April. So he's had time to rehabilitate himself. He's had time to rehabilitate himself. And when I say rehabilitate himself, I don't mean, um, you know, him actually learning anything in there to become a better human being. You know, that's not what happens in jail. I know that's what a lot of y'all think, but that's not what happened. Normally, these programs and stuff are just used to for them to get money, for them to get paid off of inmates. Normally, when people go into jail, they become a worse person because they learn more things from different people because you're around scammers. Now you're around robbers, and these real robbers, people that don't rob banks, now you're around big time uh, uh, gang bangers and people that really, really have done shit. Well, you might be in here for something petty or you might not be in there for nothing petty. You know, either way, you're around more people that have did an extensive amount of things. You might be around carjackers, professional carjackers, bank robbers, professional bank robbers, uh, scammers, professional scammers, people that actually know and have led careers doing this shit you know so for most people prison makes them 110 percent worse but what i say rehabilitated i mean as far as him getting off the drugs see sometimes it takes for you to be in a position like that in order for you to get off them drugs it's not easy to get off drugs you know and a lot of times we pass judgment i'm guilty of it too i'm a human you know what I'm saying? I pass judgment. He passed judgment. We all do the shit. We like to say that, you know, 
uh, only God can judge me, but we turn it right around and then judge a motherfucker. I ain't letting this. I ain't letting this ass in my. Look how dirty he is. I ain't letting that nigga in my house so he can, you know, steal my shit. Which by right, that's just how it is. If I don't prejudge you, I can put myself in a messed up position. So we damn near gotta do it. But you know, um, like I said, hopefully he get himself together behind this. He's still young. He yeah, he's had the opportunity. Um, he, he's probably gonna have more time to, you know, be sober, man. Be sober, you know. Um, a lot of times when we do shit, it be fueled by drugs or pussy, you know. A lot of times when we do shit, it be fueled by drugs and pussy. And when you struggle out like that, ain't no telling what you'll do or what you won't do, for real. Especially when you was just on top of the world, now you on the bottom of the barrel. You know what I'm saying? A quick transition like that. Can call somebody to crash out. Real talk. It's your boy SNTV. Cute boy, your ass around this bitch looking like a premature crocodile. Your little ugly ass boy. Your ass like a Mexican Smurf. You ugly as fuck, boy. And your ass got three baby fingerprints in your chin, boy. Three the hard way chin.